Hi, I'm Russ Fisher Ives, and I'm Global Director for RoboRave International. And I'm Brian Montoya, U.S. Director of RoboRave International. Hey, Brian, today we're going to talk about one of our oldest uh, challenges at RoboRave International called the Line Following Challenge. Can you kind of give me an idea of how it works? Yeah, it's pretty simple, really. We have a black line on a white track and a tower, and the robot has to follow that line from its home base to the tower and deliver a ping pong balls. Just one? Uh, yeah, the first time it has to get at least one ping pong ball into the tower. At least one. At it least could, one. It could do more. It could do more, okay. uh, but the whole idea is just to prove that it can deliver ping pong balls. All right, so it goes down to the tower, delivers at least one ball, and it stops and it's done. No, it's not done there, Russ. Then it has to get itself home. It can go backwards. It can turn around, reacquire the line, follow the line back to home base. Once it gets back to home base, then the fun really starts. Oh, so I'm not done. Not done. Uh, what do I do next? Then the kids are going to load it full of bonus balls. Oh! Uh, so like a, I have a robot like this, and then I start putting a lot of ping pong balls. Right, you might have a box like this on top that can carry more, more ping pong balls. You can do more. You could put a big box, a little box, whatever, whatever kind of delivery system you want. Can I be like as tall as the ceiling? No, not as tall as the ceiling. We've implemented a height restriction. Uh, so 28 inches or 70 a, centimeters. 70 centimeters, um, okay. So then, okay, so I've got this box. It takes it back and it's boom, 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 boom. So now it can deliver bonus balls. Yeah, the first year, you know, was we were happy to just get one or two balls into the tower. And then, uh, you know, it was pretty fun to see him get a dozen balls in like this. So uh, but that was Didn't cool. like two years ago when we had this unlimited height, one of the Chinese teams delivered a thousand ping pong balls. Oh my goodness, Russ. It's really cool to see a lot of ping pong balls drop on the floor. It's like oh this. Oh my god. I mean that's really and they're awesome. everywhere. Aren't they? They're everywhere. They're falling all over. So the it place. is oh it, it is innovation, it is fun. It's about getting into the box and back. It right? is. All right. So who can play this challenge? Oh, this is the great part about line following is it's open to all of our divisions. Elementary, middle school, high school, and big kids. All right. So everybody can play. And the tracks are all the same? No, the tracks are different. So the elementary is like this track that we have here, just a simple line to the tower, no intersections. Middle school has one intersection and the high when school. you say intersection, it's like it crosses like a T or it, 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 it makes it, it, it makes, makes a T. It makes a T. Okay, so that's an intersection. That's an intersection. Middle school has one. The high school big kids track has two intersections to get to the tower. So and, it gets progressively I, harder. And I think also, I didn't interrupt you, but doesn't the high school track get really thin? It does. It gets okay. uh, it's a little thinner than the middle school and the elementary track line. So everybody can play three different line tracks, and they all have the same time. I think it's three minutes. Three minutes to to finish. So you can make as many runs to the track and keep delivering bonus balls okay. after that first run. And while I'm doing this, I can run this as many times as I want to score points, or is it, am I limited? Uh, we had to inst institute a limit. Uh, so now you get ten runs. Okay. Uh, and and we take your best five scores right. out of those ten runs. That works. That works. And all those balls, like the ones that just came raining out of nowhere, those each count a point when you put them in after completing the track. That's right. That's right. right. They have to go through the tower, but you know, everything that goes in the tower counts as one point each. So let me ca recapture. Line find challenge, open to all, any type of robot, you, you get bonus points, and you're running on a line track, get to the tower back, and then deliver balls. Line find challenge, it's a bunch of fun. And we usually do this, right, when we finish off? We do. One, One two, two three. three. Wow!